Now pawpaws are native to a wide region from New Jersey all the way down to the Florida Panhandle up to Iowa and across the Appalachian region. This means that there are different varieties suited to different climate zones. And what I'd like to do in this video is show you the ones that are better suited for southerly locations. These are the cultivars that have a long flowering to fruit ripeness window that require long hot summers to ripen the fruit to their full potential. So one of the first trees that I'll recommend for a warm climate is Tropical Treat. And this is one of the longest season pawpaws that I have. You can tell by the shape of the leaf that this cultivar came from a warmer climate with more sun exposure. This particular cultivar is absolutely delicious. Um, it's, it's like a Maria's Joy, except with a clearer, more defined flavor and a little more of the high-end aromatics. Um, not as much bubblegum tone. Tropical Treat is the last cultivar to ripen here in Massachusetts. It ripens toward the end of October into November. The next cultivar that I'll recommend for southerly climates is Sunflower. Now Sunflower is a classic cultivar. Uh, came from the 1950s or 1960s, a chance seedling. It is a fruit that has more of the higher end flavor, uh, more aromatics. Um, the, the word flower in the name is very apt because it has more of those floral flavors uh, going on. And I really love this cultivar, but it ripens very late here in Massachusetts which makes it more suitable for a southerly location. And you can see this cultivar has a little bit smaller leaves than Tropical Treat. The third cultivar I'll recommend for southerly climates is perhaps my favorite of the Peterson varieties, um, Susquehanna. Susquehanna has a beautiful quilted leaf, very large textured leaf, and the fruit is extremely delicious. It is a full-on rich pawpaw flavor. Every aspect of the flavor in the forefront. Uh, it's not for everyone, but it is if you love pawpaw and want to experience the full profile of its flavor, this is the cultivar to plant. Now this ripens uh, late September through October here in Massachusetts. It is I would say mid to late season. Um, that makes it ideal for a more southerly climate. This is Potomac, which is a mid to late season cultivar. Now these, these cultivars that ripen later in Massachusetts are more ideal for southerly climates. Um, Potomac makes a gigantic fruit. It is perhaps the largest of the Peterson cultivars. Um, and so I recommend it for people who like a gentle pawpaw flavor. It's not full-on pawpaw like Susquehanna. It is a richly flavored fruit, but it is not as as dramatic as uh, Susquehanna is. Now the last cultivar I'll recommend is Shenandoah, which is both a northern and southern cultivar. Um, the reason it is both is because it has a long ripening window. Now this cultivar ripens fruit from late September all the way through late October. It's about a month of fruit ripening and this makes it ideal for both northerly and southerly locations. Now the flavor of Shenandoah is more of a banana tone. It still has a nice smooth pawpaw flavor. Um, however, it is not as rich or multifaceted as Potomac or Susquehanna. Now you can grow any cultivar of pawpaw you want in, in the south. However, these warmer season cultivars will perform better for you than they would for me. So I encourage you to plant them. Um, sunflower is available through Star Brothers and a few other popular suppliers. It's a very easy to find cultivar. Tropical Treat is only available through a couple 
different uh, nurseries. Um, Potomac is easily available, as is Shenandoah. Um, so good luck and good gardening.